Hi all. Today we're going to have a look at the Noah's Ark trap. It's a really fun trap. It's a trap which is mostly associated with the Roy Lopez, one of the oldest and most analysed openings going. So it can also be used though to describe a broader set of traps where a light square bishop gets trapped. So the light square bishop can be in trouble sometimes in certain openings if you're not careful. We're going to flip the board to give you the perspective of the black pieces. And some controversy exists why the Noah's Ark trap is named the way it is. Some believe because the pawns might resemble uh, the Noah's Ark or just because it's a really, really old trap, as old as Noah's Ark. So let's have a look how this goes. E4, E5, and we have knight f3, knight c6, so bishop b5. So this is the ancient Roy Lopez after the Spanish priest. Uh, so very heavily analyzed. And now here you play a6, bishop a4. And now this is not a terrible move. It's actually the modern Steinitz defense, d6 here. Uh, with the inclusion of a6, it becomes modern. Otherwise, it would have been just the Steinitz defense if after bishop b5 you had played d6. Just, just to clarify that, if bishop b5 you'd play d6, that's the Steinitz. Uh, but here you've included a6, and now you've played d6. So this is the modern Steinitz defense, named after the first official world chess champion, Wilhelm Steinitz. The founda you know, he founded positional play in chess, a lot of the principles that still are used today. So, what's the venom here? Okay, white maybe sees that there's an, a pin here and tries to win a piece greedily with d4 to d5. So it looks tempting here to play d4. Black has a very interesting possibility now. Using that tempo gaining b5, bishop b3, and now here the key thing is to take on d4 with the knight actually, take with the knight because this discourages quite a few moves like c3 you could just take on b3 if you take with the pawn you're giving away a bit too many options by the way so this is the right move order you take not with the pawn but with the knight here so after e takes they, they could play things like c3 uh, so take with the knight and the idea is to get white to do something about that immediately so knight takes d4 now after e takes d4, white needs to tread carefully. c3 is still a viable move as a sort of gambit. There's also a4 or bishop d5. So these, these are all, you know, giving a decent position for white. But if white plays queen takes d4, they've just fell into the Noah's Ark trap, believe it or not. Already black is significantly better. With forcing moves here, black is ready after c5 to trap this bishop on b3. White realizes now the trouble that's been caused here, c4, and tries to set up a double attack. So that looks very, very lucrative to double attack f7, threatening checkmate, and the rook. But there's a snag here. Can you see what black plays? If I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay, bishop e6. White plays queen c6, check. But now what do you play here? Five seconds. Okay, just bishop d7. And what you've done is actually you have changed the whole position. The queen is now protecting the rook because you've uh, moved this bishop out of the way. So that isn't a threat anymore. You've extinguished that threat. So now you can safely play c4. And you're winning a bishop for, you know, maybe just two pawns if white really wants to play on. They would have to give up the bishop. But you're, you're technically in a great position. You've just won a piece. So this uh, trap can also be seen, the trap pattern, the family pattern, can also be seen in the Sicilian Shvesnikov. So the anti Sveshnikov, Sicilian Sveshnikov after c5, knight f3. If you play knight c6, you're hoping usually 
for a Sicilian Sveshnikov. And if white plays bishop b5, this isn't such a great move. I haven't used this myself. But if I did use this and they played here, then they're falling into that similar pattern, b5. But there's no tricks for white at all here. The bishop simply being trapped Noah's Ark style. So it is something to be kind of aware of. I'll take you to the Royal Lopez version. Uh, so I think in conclusion and philosophical points, one has to be alert, even in chess openings, to tempo gaining moves from the opponent. You don't want to transition to a position where you end up having your bishop trapped, like with this family of the Noah's Ark style traps. So be careful about this, and it's one to set the unsuspecting player that you might be playing, who might be higher rated, you might want to try this with the black pieces. So it's definitely one for the Traps Toolkit and will be added to the Traps playlist on this channel, which I'll give a link somewhere in the description or a pinned comment. Okay, thanks very much. Comments, questions, likes, subscribes with the notification bell, always appreciated by the way. And there's playlists to check out, Leela Chess, Stockfish Chess, Suave chat form at King's Crusher TV Discord, or come and play me at Chess World with King's Crusher TV or bit.ly slash Chess World. Okay, thanks very much.